Sabatino getting in the face of Carlos Diego Ferreira. Yeah, trying to trying to get the old school, uh, old guy mentality, trying to intimidate the young ball. They said he would bring the violence as never before. And Cargo tags him on the jaw with that short right hand. As Pat spoke about earlier, he changes levels and then throws those punches. Trade kicks. There's a left hook from Makako. Gets caught with the left hand from Ferreira. Sprawls out. And Makako weaves. Left hook, right hand. There it is. I spoke about it. Nice counter left from Ferreira. Patino again. Go that sneaky technique that has proven the undoing. Launch oh. with the right hand. Gets turned around. Chance here for Ferreira to capitalize. Patino gets caught with the left hand. Looks to take down Ferreira. Ferreira trying to lock him into a guillotine. And Makako had to roll to get out of that. Looking for a half guard sweep here. Decided it wasn't there. Too orthodox. Here comes Patino. Oh. Oh, Patino on the canvas. Ferreira, can he finish? Crowd going nuts here in Houston. Hammerfist strikes from Ferreira. Patino's a survivor. Let's see if he can get through this. It's the moment you wish you had longer arms when you're Makako so you could punch back. Eats another couple of right hands from Ferreira. Then throwing a nice combo and then goes to the head kick. I'm wondering when the uh, referee is going to fix that. Oh, no. Oh, the big kibosh! Makako went down from the left hook of Ferreira. Can the challenger finish now? Nice job working back to his butterfly guard there. Makako trying to open up a gash on the top of the head of Ferreira, chomping down with those elbows, controlling the posture with the left hand. Doing a good job landing that knee, and then the, he comes with those punches. He follows up great off kicks to, or knees to punches or from punches to kicks to finish. And there's that beautiful combination finishing with the left. What has Makako, the 40-year-old, got left in the tank here? With that straight left. Tank down from Carlos Diego Ferreira. Takes the back of Makako. Can he work. sub the champ? Going to work right away. Look at him digging that foot in there. Very nice. Looking for the triangle. And now transitioning, looking for the arm bar. Ferreira throws the legs up, hoping Makako leaves a limb in. And Makako starts a rally now. Powies his way through, lands a right hand. Here comes Makako. One thing you can never say about Makako is he doesn't have heart. This guy's got a ton of heart. Looks worse for wear here. Hunting another leg lock, nice. Ferreira's cut over his left eye. Has Makako got one big salvo here? Up kick from Ferreira, and that's how the fight ends. We go down to the judges. Forty-eight, forty-seven. On Pat's scorecard to Makago, taking the final round at ten nine. How you scored, folks? Let us know on Twitter now. Use the hashtag Legacy Twenty Five. Do you have this man winning at the champion, George Makako Patino? Or do you have this man, the challenger, Carlos Diego Ferreira? Don't forget, shortly we will be speaking with Artinas Young. Some more information emerging after his epic fight earlier on in the card against Jonathan Holt Harris. Moment of truth is upon us. Certainly, Ferreira looks the more confident of victory. Fans out in force for both men, though a slight advantage, I believe, going the way of Ferreira. Let's go up to Colin Cantrell now. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen,
please, big round of applause for both of these warriors. They left everything in the cage this evening. We go to the judges' scorecard. Judge Kevin Hancock scores the fight, 48-47. Judge Joe Solis scores the fight, 50-45. And Judge Chris Reed scores the fight, 48-47. For your winner, by unanimous decision, and new <laughs> legacy lightweight champion of the world, Carlos Diego Ferreira! Carlos Diego Ferreira is the new legacy champion. Still undefeated, Ferreira. What an emotional moment. Mick Maynard, the president of Legacy, affixes the belt around the waist of Ferreira. And Pat Milicic is going to get a word with the champion. All right, in here with Carlos Diego Ferreira. Phenomenal title fight. You stay undefeated. You fought your childhood idol tonight. How hard was it to come in against George Macaco? Uh, I have one thing to say. Like, uh, the guy is uh, really tough, you know. And uh, beside there, he's my hero. That's why I, 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 I train MMA because I, when I'm I growing up in Manaus, I see a, a lot of videos uh, from him fighting uh, Valituro. And I'm in great right now, like a 10 percent because then when I see, watch his fight, uh, I kind of fall in love about MMA and Jiu Jitsu you now. And beside that, I want to say it. Thank my Lord Jesus Christ for giving me so uh, so good corners and uh, thank you all my sponsors, Vitamin Check. Hold on one sec. Let's uh, let's take a look at the screen and and talk us through the fight a little bit. You you had a bit of a slow start in the fight, but that end of that second round I think started things going your way. Uh, that that kick uh, kind of been my coach uh, Cooper been teaching me a lot. I passed like a few months. We've been training really, really hard, you know. Every single day, no stop, and that's the results from all my whole work and my coach, like every single one. All right, Carlos, huge win for you tonight, beating George Macaco Patino, buddy. Congratulations, champ. Okay, here's undefeated Carlos Diego Ferreira, nine and oh, but more importantly, here's the new lightweight champion of Legacy Fighting Championship. Still more to come here from the Houston Arena Theater, live on Access TV.